Hi everyone, this is John. Uh, in front of me I've got a few locks. These are uh, Abus Brady Lockout Techout locks. Uh, and this is a lock uh, sent to me by Rob Locks. It's from John uh, from the UKLS forums. He sent me this lock because it's uh, broken. The key will no longer fit in the lock and won't turn. I will fix the lock, pick the lock and then return it as a package to John. Okay, lockout checkout locks are used when you are working on dangerous equipment and this is to prevent someone from accidentally turning the equipment on. I've got here two identical padlocks. One of them is broken and the other one is not. Let's see if we can see it on camera. What's wrong with this one? Well, this one is perfectly fine. It will just operate with the key. And this one won't. Okay, let's take this one apart. Okay, there goes the ball bearings on the ground. I'll pick those up later. This is the core. <laughs> and this is quite familiar to everyone that's already picked locks. Because this is a picked lock. Um, the core is turned 180 degrees, so it will not function. And how these padlocks are constructed? You cannot turn it 180 degrees uh, with, a, with a key uh, because of these uh, bits there. And to fix this, we use a lockpick, put it in like this and turn it around. Okay, the driver pins are up here and are blocking the core from turning. If we try to turn the core this way, even if we set all driver pins back into the housing, it won't open because the small holes here, the key pins are resting right there at the moment. Whatever I try, it will not turn. So what we need to do is turn it around. And for this lock, I need to give it a quite a whack to get all to get all key pins uh, back in the in the housing. Okay, it's still broken. And now I use my uh, sparrows short hook. Rotate this slightly. There it starts rotating. And if I try to finish rotating, okay, I will use a turning tool for this one. There we go. I've repaired the lock, um, but the last part did not get on a video. So I will pick it, break it and repair it again, just for you. It's qu quite an easy lock, because there are plenty of spools. Okay. Counter rotation, click, counter rotation, not quite, click, overset, open. <coughs> there we go. There we go, it's open. So now we close it. 
and now we rotate the core past its end point. The key will never rotate beyond this point because it will get stuck here. Uh, but as we are picking, we can do whatever we want. So now it's closed. The key will no longer go in, will not open a lock. Uh, now we whack it a few times so all the key pins are down. And now I use a pick to rotate the core. So it's now rotated partially. Now rotate it fully with a tension range and now it's operating again. Phillips. And there we go. <coughs> Here's our core. And as you can see, this core looks just like this one. So I will send one of these along to John so you can have a mini mini 8888 core. 888 core. <laughs> It's quite fun look. Um, yeah, so you can replace it if he wants to. Uh, this will be all for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. See ya.